Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to give a proctored test directly through WebAssign using something called Lockdown Browser. So the first thing you want to do is create a test. So I'm going to click up here on the top left corner where it says Create. And then you want to click on where it says Assignment. So left click on Assignment. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and select the default. So Test WebAssign Default. Obviously, you want to make sure you're comfortable with all of the settings uh, when you're doing this. So if you're actually giving an actual test, uh, it's probably a good idea to look at everything and make sure you're comfortable with what WebAssign is offering. And let's give it a fake name. And then let's go ahead and make a quick test. So I'm going to click on Question Browser. And this is really nice, I think, because you can pick questions from the homework. Um, I have never actually given a test in WebAssign, so it's kind of exciting. All right, I'm just going to pick a section. Which one to pick? How about partial derivatives? And I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's pick this one. Update assignment. OK, so everything is good to go. I'm going to click Save. So now you want to click on Schedule. And this is where you want to schedule your test. I'm going to go ahead and schedule it for my Calculus 3 class because I told them to ignore uh, everything I do, any weird stuff they see. Uh, I told them just to ignore it. So I'm going to go over here and pick something really far away. It's due on April 20th, and it's available now. That's what I want. So schedule. OK, so here's the trick. Right here, there's a drop-down key. You want to click on this and click on Edit Restrictions. So click on that. And then Lockdown Browser Required. Just click this, and then just click Time to Assignment and then select 30. There's all kinds of other options here. I, I'll be honest, I haven't had time to look at them. I've just been trying to really work on the lockdown browser portion. So let's click Save. OK, so we should be good to go. We should be able to take a test with lockdown browser right now. Let's try it. So I'm going to click Open Student View. And I'm going to select the class, Calculus 3. Click Go. Scroll down. Ooh, there it is. Fake test, just working on stuff. So it says WebAssign Lockdown Browser Required. So this is free. Apparently, WebAssign uh, provides this to anyone who uses WebAssign. I, I think it's been a thing for a while, maybe. I'm not sure. And it's timed. So let me click it. So when you first click this, uh, if you don't have it, uh, they want you to get it. So it's really easy to get it. It only takes a little while to download and install. So I've already done this a bunch of times just to test it. So I already have it installed. So I'm going to click Continue. And it says, Open Lockdown Browser OEM. So just click Open. And then just click Yes. And it's loading. And let's see what happens. It's still loading. OK, so now you get to select the class. So we're still not into the test. At this point, students can still go anywhere. They can look at notes that you have for them, possibly, or uh, anything else. Um, they can still look at stuff. They can go to other homework assignments. But once you click on this, it says, this is a timed assignment. When you open this assignment, you will have 30 minutes to complete the assignment. The remaining time will be displayed in the upper right-hand corner. Right. So this is really important. Once they click Continue, the timer st starts. And it does not stop until time runs out or until they submit the assignment. So it's really key. So once they click it, the clock is ticking. So I've clicked it. So this is their fake test with one question. So you see time left. Now here's the bad part about this. There's, there's two things that are negative. One, obviously, there's, there's no webcam. But you know, there's nothing, I think, that you know, WebAssign has built in for that, uh, to my knowledge. But it's better than nothing. The other negative thing is, watch this, I can actually leave the test. So I'm going to click this here, right here. And so I've left the test. So now I can go to other homework problems. I can read announcements. I can watch videos. I have videos in the homework so students can watch those. And then they can go back to the test. So you might say, that's terrible. What do you do? Well, I will show you what you can do. So let's go ahead and get out of this. So notice I clicked it twice. So I'm going to go ahead and... Um, X out of the Lockdown Browser. So exit. OK, so now I'm out of Lockdown Browser. And I'm going to go back to um, 
me just see if I can get there. Back to my class. Okay. I'm going to go back to my class, and I'm going to go to the grade book. Okay, for my class. Class scores. I'm going to click on Calculus 3. You can see I've beautifully blurred the names, the power of editing. And I'm going to click on my name. And I'm going to click on log info for my test. Okay, so log info for my test. And there it is. That's when I first entered the test. And this means I entered it again. So this means that the student left the test and entered it again. So the person cheated, right? So you can tell by looking at the log info. So every time you click, it creates a log every time you go into the test. Um, so yeah, it's not perfect. And if students do leave the um, you know the test and, and try to like look at other stuff, you'll be able to tell. So maybe a good idea, it's a good practice if you do decide to use this. And tell your students, you know, once you enter the test, do not leave because, you know, I can definitely see that you've left the test. There's a clear log of it. I did this a couple times, um, and one time I entered four times, and I had four different logs. I entered an exit so quickly that it shows the same timestamp, but there's two entries so you know uh, something is up. So it's a pretty good solution. It's an easy solution um, if you're trying to give a uh, proctored test. That's it.